Well, now it's connecting and I believe that we can see ourselves on Facebook. Let me have a look. Yes, we are. We're live. Well, good. Now it's connecting and I believe that we can see. Yeah. We are. Ourselves on Facebook. <laughs> that was Facebook. Wonderful. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you well, are. Yeah. Welcome, we welcome are. everyone. Ourselves on Facebook. So, I need to get this off. I need to get the Facebook off now. Lovely. So, Robert, welcome. Long time has been since um, I was doing broadcasting and long here on Facebook and long time since we know each other. Well, quite long time, you know, it's uh. four years. And I am so happy. I'm so thrilled when you approach me and we started to chat and we came to this idea and you really made me to come back to life again, Facebook Live. <laughs> but I'm pretty much recovering from you know, the loss of my mom. It's still very fresh, just three months. But the last three years has been a big challenge for me. And we all have challenges in life. And today conversation, it's about this. How I name it, that success, is in our identity. I truly believe in that. And knowing you and knowing many different people, knowing their, their stories, because everybody has a story. And I believe that each story should be shown and um, written about it and shared with people. Because what um, our friends here on Facebook, they are going today and when they watch in replay, what they're going to hear, what they're going to learn. It, they're, they're just great free bonuses today. And welcome, 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 Robert J. Moore. He's in Canada. It's morning there. You're very welcome. Yeah, it's 11.33 here. 11.33, <laughs> wonderful. So we, we discussed uh, how to start this and to make it really be good and powerful later on after the video you're going to play you're going to play the video i'm going to introduce you before you take the microphone before the video just to let you know whoever doesn't know me yet i'm galea kinova and i'm your well-being concierge in 17 years on the well-being spa wellness business 19 years in london now two years back in bulgaria stuck here for a while it's second of may 90 uh, well 2022 it was 19 while ago yes and you're watching us because what i'm doing and how we met with robert it was four years ago actually we have not met in person but looks like as if we did but we met via Facebook, via other people who've been offering speaking gigs <laughs> and some events. Robert came to London, but I flew before that to Bulgaria, so we couldn't meet. But actually, we established this great friendship. Well, I, I'm happy to call myself your friend uh, here on Facebook. And uh, well, um, I mean, on this uh, platforms, <laughs> <laughs> on this uh, platform, platforms and fascinated how and what we can do when we're really determined. So he's in the coaching, I'm in the coaching industry, I'm well-being and life coaching, his business, and we'll tell you in a bit, a little bit more about him. And please feel welcome to like, 
to comment, to share with your friends, to invite your friends also to share the video. We'll come back with, uh, to you with any questions uh, you put down and any comments. And if you want to reach out to um, Robert later on, we'll put the email address and how to find him and where on these um, platforms to find him. So please, let's start with the video now. Will do. Thank you. And too many surprises later. Too many surprises later, yeah. Yeah, we have. <laughs> oh, we didn't do the sound part, hold on. So we wouldn't play the whole video because it's five minutes, but just the beginning because it's very interesting. The whole video they can watch in YouTube. Everybody's got a dream. The dream of being someone someday. The dream of being a part of something someday. The dream of becoming something someday. When I was young, I didn't have a dream. I was living on the street. It was my parents' fault, my teacher's fault, my friend's fault. I'm blaming everybody else but my own fault. And the reason for that is, is because I didn't want to take the responsibility. I thought I was living a horrible life. I didn't know what to do living on the streets for seven years, outside in the cold, nothing to eat, starving for days on end. I was broke, almost $100,000 in debt, hadn't showered in days, running from my emotions for many years. I was embarrassed of the way of my lifestyle was to even ask for help. I was a high school dropout. I had no education. Where was I gonna get a job? Until I became sick and tired of looking around and seeing others achieve opportunities after opportunities. And that's when it changed my life. My life started getting better. I realized taking responsibility for my own actions. If I wanted to achieve success, I had to learn how to look at all the ugly stuff in my life. Realize negativity is part of the journey. All those negative things that were going on in my life. I had to sort them out. I had to learn how to deal with them. I had to learn how to overcome them. I had to learn how to put new emotions towards them and I had to learn how to think positive. That was hard, until one day that somebody believed in me, gave me an ounce of hope. And they told me, get yourself some education, write yourself a book, let the people know. What's going on, Robert J. Moore? Uh, my name is James Franklin. I was a quarterback at Mizzou from 2010 to 2013, and now playing quarterback currently for the Toronto Argonauts up here in the Canadian Football League. But I just wanted to reach out and say, uh, I really appreciate and love how you're always thinking of others uh, and upbranding them through Magnetic Entrepreneur Incorporated. Uh, it's always encouraging when you see other people helping out um, and trying to help others get to where they want to be. So keep up the good work and uh, cheers, man. I'll do this Hello, last everyone. One. My name Thank is you. Serena Brown you Travis. Well? I'm the youngest daughter of the legendary motivational speaker, Les Brown. Robert J. Moore has been my mentor. We've developed a friendship, and he's been the guy who has coached me. It's because of you that I have found the strength and the confidence to even sit where I'm sitting today. You know, I owe a great deal of gratitude and a great deal of my success to Robert J. Moore. Robert J. Moore, I love you, and I cannot wait to connect with you soon. Take care. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, Robert J. Moore, it's seasoned professional featured in Forbes and Forbes magazine. Yep. Forbes <laughs> magazine does actually eight uh, editions per year, right? In different fields. Yeah. So, Robert will tell us a little bit more uh, about it later. Also, in Disrupt magazines, International Awards Best Seller, Founder of Magnetic and Entrepreneurs, Inc., and which consists uh, radio station business coach. Um, he, you did over 100 uh, published books, right? And you went so well over there. So you've been recognized uh, and on their top programs, Guinness, world record holder yeah holder and nominated for walk of fame walk of fame in um in la the no see what they do is they have one in toronto too 
Oh, um, right. Yeah, they have one in Toronto too, Toronto, Canada. So I, it was the one in Toronto, Canada, which is the exact same thing as in Hollywood. It's yeah. amazing. And also, he won the honorary doctorate degree two times and has impacted the lives of over 160,000 people. Robert, how you did this? You know, this actually mostly happened the last four or five years? About six the most, yeah. About yeah, but, but the last four years, so much has happened since we have not been much in contact. I, it's definitely I been was growth. blown away. It's definitely been growth in the last few years, like say four. Um, what happened was I was a child, man. I mean, straight up forward, I was a drug addict, alcoholic. You know, I was I was always drinking and drugging. I didn't care. I, I was held hostage by the booze and the drugs and, and the and the social conformity of it all. And and what happened was nobody wanted me around. And I didn't even want myself around. I was so depressed that nobody wanted me around that I didn't know what to do. Like I was just I sat there with a case of beer rolling cigarette butts. Um, today I'm, I'm proud to say I'm 16 years clean and sober plus I'm going on 17 years and the cigarettes I haven't even smoked in 15 years. So congratulations. Well that way too. Yeah. congratulations. Well that way. But what I did was I found my addiction in between. So here's the search part of my life, the search part, trying to find who I was. I went through and got my education and my education consists of first I had to go get my grade 12. It was hard because here you are. 15 to 20 years junior to your age, people are sitting there talking to you and talking about how the parties were last night. And you're three or four months clean and sober. It's like, oh man, to go out and have a beer right now and ruin everything I'm trying to build is not a good deal. That's not good for me. So I just forced myself to continue. And so I did that and get my high school diploma. They actually, they actually awarded me with uh What's that? What's that name? Uh, they, you go in front of the school and you represent the school or the class or whatever. Some kind of name. You go up there and you speak in front of them. It's a award you win. Other people, okay. know, I don't. I don't know. I, I'm it's sorry, a, I couldn't help you here. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, uh, it's just some some award they won, and it was like the top notch one for the class. You speak on behalf of the class and that. Um, but needless to say, I went from there. It was my first achievement of winning an award. So I said, what do I want to do? And I said, well, I was in addiction. So let's try out addictions. I said, I could do that, man. Not a problem. I was already there. I could do that. I know the symptoms. I know this. I know that. I didn't realize that it was going to be harder than that. The education that comes along with it blew my mind because of the fact that it was like, you have to actually learn the symptoms interior and mind, body, and soul kind of thing. And you have to, you have to learn what the, the physiology of the things are happening the body language, the physiology of the face expressions, the tone of voice, you have to learn what the drugs do to you. So you have to learn, a, you know, like um, all the different symptoms that come along with those drugs. And it's like pharmacology is not easy to take care of, man. I mean, when you got all these different things, sure. you got to learn the psychology, the DS5, 4, or 3, whatever which one you were using at the time. And uh, so I ended up getting my social service worker diploma, my addictions degree, my BA in psychology, my master's in counseling psychology, my harm reduction, and two honorary, uh, honorary doctorate degrees. So let me stop you here. Uh, did they ask you to become a ambassador of like your school or the class? It's, it's I don't, kind of. there's a name for it. That's not, All right. that's not ringing the bell. That's not ringing it's, the it's bell. It's okay. So there's a you, certain name for it. Okay. So you from the homeless, drug and alcohol addicted i was on the finish, streets for seven years finish your secondary school and then you had the master and the doctorate and you studied psychology and Here, studied here's the thing that blows people's mind i was living on the street for seven years i'm not talking living on a person's couch i was talking about i would literally sleep outside a beer store because i was an alcoholic so bad into it that i'd go into an apartment building when they're doing their late late night laundry it didn't matter to me if it fit or not, as long as it was warm. I'd grab some clothes, I'd put it on, I'd stretch it if I had to to make it fit, and then I'd go outside and I'd wrap snow around me like this. And this is Canada. Body, and this is Canada, and we're talking minus 40, minus 50 out here. And I'd sleep in a snowbank, and then in the morning I'd get up, go to a, a, a go station, a train station, and I would literally freshen up, I'd make myself look good, go hide my clothes somewhere, and walk up and down the street bumming for change. 
pretend I had to go just BS lies just to get money. And so seven I did years. That. Seven, seven years. years you did the life in such a way. Yeah. If it wasn't God with you, protecting you, I don't think you would survive. Many well, people, took they one don't. Person, took one person believing in me. I asked the right person for a cigarette one day. And they looked at me and said, I'll give you a cigarette, but you have to come to my office sometime. Okay, what's this all about? And it was like a bales person, person that works for John Howard Society. <clears throat> Excuse me. And she was a she was a counselor. And that was my first taste of someone doing the counseling with me. And I didn't know this before, but she was actually my she was I was actually her first client too. I didn't know that. Amazing. But check this out. We got well got along so well, even when I went back to jail for do a little spritz here, spritz here, spritz there. Um, she would actually show up at the jail and bring me material to do my drawings in. So I was a drawing back. I love drawing right back then. I don't know more because I felt nobody wanted to buy it. It hurt my feelings or something like that. I got a little, little poor me kind of thing and just moved on. <laughs> but when I, what I did was the reason why I did all that education, I want to explain to you guys had nothing to do with impressing you because you don't see doctor in front of my name. You don't mm. see all the credentials behind my name. You're very humble. You, don't see, you don't even see them here. I did it because I wanted to figure out why I was being the asshole I was, why I was acting the way I was, and how can I be better person to humble myself to, in, to empower other people now. Now I utilize those skills and help businesses out and grow them. I mean, I, I make multiple six figures just on Facebook alone. Robert, so this is very important, actually, for many people who have the mediocrity life. So they have everything basic and necessary and they are born as we i believe we're all born with gifts and talents but those people all the time think that it's somebody else's fault lazy enough or doesn't have this courage or live in fear that if they take a step forward they wouldn't make it or something will happen or whatever so to those people today, it's the message because I know many who are doing okay in life and they have these desires, but actually they don't have this yes, aha moment and the driving force to drive them out from the place where they are and to move them forward in life. And it is how, when you discover your gifts and talents and after the education and you decided must be someone who really pull out the lid. So the spirit to get out and to push you forward. What was it? When I was in school, um, and I said to myself, I said, oh, I want to be an addiction counselor. And then I learned how hard it was. And then I, I just kind of somehow leaned towards the psychology part of it and end up with a psychology degree afterwards. I think I was addicted to the fact of the schooling because it was helping me. It was a security blanket for me at the time to learn who I was. So all my thesis, all my, all my, like, check this out. My thesis was anger management. I was the angriest person in the world. That's the reason why I put that because I wanted to learn why I was so angry. What was keeping me from being liked out there and, and, and not even see the inside of me, mm -hmm. right? People couldn't see the inside of me unless I was angry. Now at the same time, I also, all the assignments I did were, had to do with drinking and drug and had to do with, you know, just things I was struggling with in my life. Now, don't mind you, every two weeks, I'm going to tell you something, every two weeks, I would debrief with a counselor that was in the school. Mm -hmm. I want to add that too, because don't just do it the way I did it, but you have to debrief with someone mm -hmm. and make sure that you don't, you know, use those tools. Against you don't yourself. slip back. You know. Yeah. So, I mean, being an alcohol drug addict, I also want to say I, I did use some programs too that helped me, but I found those programs there helped me move on, helped me move on to where I don't have to identify the situation that, okay, yeah, I'm an alcoholic and I always will be. I'm recovered alcoholic, but will still be remaining an alcoholic no matter what, and a drug addict. You know, people have died in my life and I don't look at drinking and drugging no more. I look at... Um, 
for instance, 2001, my brother Tom died drinking and drugging, car crash. Sorry. Right? My, my other brother, uh, April 1st, 2015, he died of a, a they, they say it's too many pills. I call it an overdose. Same thing, as far as I'm concerned. I'm so sorry, my, Robert. July, July uh, February 20th. No, February 17th. My other brother died of an overdose. Yeah, so you had, you had three brothers and they're all gone. Yeah, three brothers uh, all gone. And then, uh, you know, like seriously, I'm the only one left. And it's like my mother's, like my biological mother, she's like, what do I do? I lost three kids. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like she, she don't know how to digest it properly. See me, when I look at a death day, um, even July 20th is a very hard day for me, but I'll tell you a little trick. My son was born on July 20th. He's just, I think he's 30 years old now, but 30 years ago, July 20th, 1992, his mom died giving birth to him. Well, in 2015, July, July 20th, also my mom died on that birthday. And then my grandfather died on that day. So there's three people that died in that same day, but at the same time, um, my son's birthday. So I look at the positive, right? And then I'll go into the computer. I'll say, okay, I feel a little bit depressed, just like April 30th that just went past my dad's death day, right? I looked at it and I said, you know what? Heck with it. I'm going to make a couple thousand dollars today. You know what I mean? And I put a program to celebrate his life. Yeah. In the yeah. Yes. So I went out of my way and I said, heck with it. I'm going to make a couple thousand bucks and I put some stuff together and I did it. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. And today you're married. Let people know that you are successfully married. You have two children, right? The boy I have, well, we have six all together, but um, <laughs> that's because, well, you got to remember, I have kids before yes. I met her, right? But the little so, one now, it's four years old. Yeah, he's four years old now. He's the youngest. Is four years your old. Wife was pregnant. So, so we have a we have a thirty one year old my my first child ever born, and then a thirty year old my wife died giving birth to, and then we have a, I have another child which I really never seen. It was one of those uh, drunk flings or whatever you want to call it, like relationships when you're drunk and you don't really realize what you're doing. I, I can admit. I mean, he, him and I don't talk to each other. We met each other. He knows the situation. You know, and then, and then I also have, we, my wife has an 18 year old, a 16 year old, and we have together a four year old. So we have six all together in, in different categories, it's but incredible. we only raise, we only have two living at the house right now. Wonderful. Sometimes I'm the big baby. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when you, okay. Now you answered to one of my questions, what made you actually to, to make the changes in life? And today, after a few years, you managed to meet and to work with the, the most famous, they call celebrities in the coaching and uh, public speaking and mentoring industry. So this is incredible. And you're living legacy you're living on behalf of your family your brothers and your parents you're living legacy and you're living the legacy for your children so people you met and who really influenced your life and some of them my life because i know them in person as well so les brown and you're working with his daughter legend yeah i coach his daughter uh, sorry <laughs> I coach his daughter. Another yeah. thing I want to mention, speaking speaking of that right there, before you move on, I have not even showed you this, but I think you're going to be so impressed when you see this. Give me two seconds, because this is going to be released um, at the end of the month. I think you're really going to be intrigued. Here it goes. Boom. So, wow. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this. I love I, that's just one of the ones I'm doing. I, I've I've actually published 118 books now, going on about 100, 125 because I have okay. some set up. We'll speak about the, the, the books later on and what you're doing, the great work you're doing there. So, Tony Robbins. I've been trained by Tony Robbins' team. Uh, Jack Cloverfield. So, I, I was planning to uh, fly to uh, London because in June he is actually... Uh, talking, giving a talk at Global Woman Club, but I couldn't make it. Bob Proctor, God bless him, he's not around us any longer. Um, 
Eric Thomas, uh, Douglas Vermeer <laughs> never told his uh, family name correctly. Vermeeren. I met him in London. Oh, Roman, my, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he is great, great guy. Raymond Aaron, uh, Johnny, uh, Tony J. Cellini, <laughs> Cellini, we know him, and Dr. Demartini. I met, you know, four of them in London. Great. That's just great. a few. I mean, uh, you're looking at Dr. Joe Vitale. You're, you're looking at all. Anybody from the movie The Secret, Thick and Go Rich, Napoleon Hill, they're all personal friends of mine. Yeah, I've been on stage with them all. I've been on stage with people, NFL players from uh, Buccaneers. Um, I've shared stage with some personal ones. Reggie Russ from the Buccaneers. I've shared stage with him. Him and I are pretty close. We help out with the youth and we do things together. As a matter of fact, I offered to do a book uh, with all the Buccaneers. I'll have a ghostwriter come in, do all the stuff because they don't want to write themselves. And then we'll do a chapter and do a certain portion of that goes right to the children to help the children out. And you organized few events the last two years. And I've were... done it all. I've done everything right to the point I am now because I fired my entire staff. My entire staff I fired four and a half years ago. Yeah. Why did I do that? People say, why did you do that? Yeah. Well, I felt my, my business wasn't structured enough and the foundation was cracking. In order to have that fixed, you got to get in there. You got to get dirty. Now you want to know your marketing. Who do, how do you know your marketing, right? How do you know how to market? How do you know the best way to market I hired one of the top strategic guys in the world, most sought out person, right? That's who I hired, one of the most top people in the world. And let's make it here clear. When we work with these top people, we learn so much from them. But when we pay and make it, you know, uh, well, we dedicate it in two ways. Firstly, ourselves as a person uh, dedicating our time and we are disciplined. But secondly, we commit with money. And many people today think that not paying or you know, thinking that they can take the freebies and they still can succeed, that it's not working in this way, right? It's a rough go if you're going to try and do it on your own. Let me show you something. You, when we talk about this, is the fastest way to go do it. Here's, here's my actual website. It talks about from back of room uh, to stop stages throughout the world. Here's the people I'm talking about. I remember more into top strategists in the world. Les Brown, you got John Chin. Yes. Sir John Chin because he did the film. And then you got the heavyweight champion of the world. Look at all these people. Kyle Wilson was Jim Rohn's ex-business partner. Yep. And one that trained him. These are all the people I spoke on stage with. Yep. And then uh, here, and I co-authored with these people. Then I got Absolutely. testimonials. I, like, like this one here alone is, is precious. I have seen hey, you Robert, guys. This is Ian Beckles, former Buccaneer, yes. former Philadelphia Eagle. And uh, dude, we won the Super Bowl. Crazy. I want to congratulate you and also congratulate you for also being a big time goal achiever, just like our Buccaneers. And uh, your boy Jay wants to let you know that you inspired a lot of people out there and you're changing a lot of lives. And he just wants you to keep shining, brother. And listen, life is about affecting others. And please don't stop. It's inspiring to me. It's inspiring to Jay. And uh, it's all about you know affecting lives out there. So brother, this note is just to let you know that you're appreciated. Don't stop, can't stop. So that's pretty serious stuff. Like, look at this one. Here's one. Look at this one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you? But were you his guest? So what happened? There's one from Journey. Journey leasing or Journey. Yep. So let me explain to you how it works with uh, with him. Okay. You get. It took me about two years to finally get on with him. I got on with him, and what they do is they you have to have remote access of your computer. They, get, they take over your computer so you can't be taping anything. They don't want you taping anything with Steve Harvey in it. You're allowed to take a snapshot. That's all you're allowed. They said, as soon as we're set up, you can do a snapshot, and that's it. You can't do taping. You can't touch your computer until they're off. And that's the way they work it, so that way you can't use it against him in any which way it's, uh, or use any of his material um, or anything of the sort. So he wants to keep it very private. Yeah. And I only had 10 minutes with him. So um, 10 minutes. Yeah. he's a great guy. I love you. 
he's, he's talented. He's talented in many ways. We, we come from the same road, um, basically not in the Bronx and out, but it was the Bronx in different areas, different parts of life. So basically what it was is it was that we come through and that was somebody. You know what I mean? I'm not as famous as him, but to some people I am. Yes. Right? And I just ask, I just ask that anybody out there, don't put me or anybody else on the pedestal because if I fall, you're going to fall too. Remember, we're just normal people that are making it. Like when I look at Les Brown, Eric Thomas, I look at all them now. I mean, we I just, all know I just, his story. <laughs> yeah, I, I put myself on the pedestal, like thinking, wow, it's cool, man. Here I am on stage with these guys. I'm thinking these guys were on the pedestal in my eyes. Mm -hmm. But then I seen some things, I, I heard some things, and I was starting to fall because they were doing things that were not my expectation. Mm -hmm. Right. And it was like, whoa, wait a minute, that wasn't cool. Right. So, I mean, people did that with me, too. Like some people sit there and say, I want to do a book and everything. But I found that it was on witchcraft. I'm not doing a book on witchcraft. Sorry. <laughs> so it's just some people do things. And when you fall and you're not doing so well, you're going to drag the other people down there admiring you. But they need to understand that things will happen for a reason. If I go like here and I fall or if I'm a millionaire and lose all my money, I've done that before. And here, here's what happens. If I, the climb back up is a lot funner. You know why? Because you know you're earning it again. You know you're going through that. And it's, it makes you stronger in certain areas that you need to be stronger in. Absolutely. So going through those, listen, for those people struggling and sitting in their own shit and their pool of crap that they want to sit in and they don't know how to grow, I'm going to tell you something right now. It's sweeter on the other side when you start dealing with those emotions. Mm -hmm. This is very important because uh, I actually made a program which is about the emotions and how to love ourselves because how to do it our emotions and Tony Robbins speaks about the maturity emotional maturity others they're speaking about the um, you know to, to reach the emotional growth it's the intelligence how intelligently to use our emotions which you know, are I've coached I've coached some of uh, Tony Robbins uh, teachers eh okay I've coached some of them <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, <laughs> amazing. Well, so where did you learn business? How did you learn business? In you life? Know, I, I, it was started off of life, the schooling on how I like to be seen. And then I studied at school. I did not learn anything in school. Before. Sorry, you didn't sleep yesterday night much. And <laughs> I work 18 hours a day because you know what? I, I'm still working on bringing new staff in and it's, it's, I, like I said, I had to learn all aspects of my business in order to make the foundation today. So it's uncrackable through the, through the pandemic, I actually did extremely well. I was able to buy this house. Um, I bought a brand new car the other day. I got an RV. I, I got an RV and I got, uh, I got 3.2 acres down the road. Um, so I, I've done exceptionally well, um, and helped a lot of people Amazing. build their foundation, build their structure and build uh up to six seven figures so yeah amazing robert congratulations thank you welcome so uh what is this what is your formula for success what's my formula of success uses strategic things that actually work never mind the things that don't work i mean if you know something's not going to work why do it again why bang your head against the wall why don't you break that cycle and Here's the thing. I studied 52 of the top achievers in the world, literally studied 52 achievers. Some were deceased. I had to do it off YouTube or take the programs or whatever it may be. But I at least took a nugget from each of them, took a nugget from each of them. And I built me the way I am today, my business structure and everything else. Um, I'm very blunt. I'm very straightforward. I don't care if I hurt your feelings because it's not your feelings I'm dealing with. It's your business I care about. So if your business is going to grow, I'm going to hurt your feelings. I mean, because everybody has in their mind, oh, well, we have to pamper things. How about the pamper? Get on with it. I always say trying is lying, doing is believing. So get on with the doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> the ego, you don't hurt the feelings. We hurt the hey, ego. I had Eric Thomas. Eric Thomas sit down one time and he said, if you think I'm going to give you a pat in the back every time you fall, and then when you get back up, he says, no. He said, I'll give, you, I'll give you a pat in the back when you actually realize that in the mirror that you're the one that needs to be impressed, not other people. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? So we and and plus, we, we to take responsibilities for yeah, that's where it all comes down, right? Yeah. Well, what uh, you started, I just want to continue with a little bit more about this. For, uh, what your advice will be? What do you say to people who still have their doubts and you know they, they suffer from imposter syndrome, which is very popular? <laughs> I've well, been there also. I mean, you got to remember, uh, what you believe in yourself is, is conditioned, right? You, someone has conditioned that for you to believe that you're not worthy that you're not well and worthy to be at the level that I'm at or, or Tony Robbins or anybody else. We're all equal. It's just that they get more advertising in the media. Mm -hmm. They get more recognized throughout the world because why? They hit the right thing. It, it, you know, we always say, oh, I can't wait for that one day to happen. That mm -hmm. one special moment in my life, it's going to change my life. Do it right now. Make mm -hmm. that change yourself. All you got to do is say, I'm going to change. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I need the one person. Don't do it on yourself, though. Please do not do it alone. Me, I tell you how I do things. Because I was a counselor for so long and a psychotherapist for so long, I engage that in my, in my uh, strategies. So what I do is when I'm empowering other people, I could tell by the phys physiology of the face, expressions, tone, and body language. And I could tell if I'm actually hurting them, hitting them in the soft spot, or they're getting a bit defensive. If they are, I back off, go in a different way. I get the same answer, right? But the same thing is they want to grow, but they, they won't let go of expectations. Or oh, somebody else to do it. <laughs> or, yeah, or someone else to do it. But then they got to pay the extra money. There right? That's the problem. You got to pay the extra money. If you don't want to do it on your own, you remember, you're building something for yourself. A lot of people don't know this, but I'm building a company too at the same time that nobody even knows about in between my two other businesses. Mm -hmm. I'm building one right in the middle for a four-year-old in the house. It's in his name. You know what I mean? My four-year-old when he's 18 years old will be a millionaire. Amazing. Because of this, because of this business I'm putting together. And Amazing. Actually, I'm his first client. He doesn't know it because here he is. He's already got the Guinness World Record with me. He was in the book. He was in the event with me. He doesn't know it yet, but he will in the future. So, and then he, I got a publishing company I put together for him so that I could, and I'm his first client for that because he's doing my autobiography. <laughs> so please tell me more about the publishing company and how that works and. Well, publishing, if you, I mean, I do a lot of collaborations like uh, chicken soup for the soul kind of thing. Um, I, I get 15, 20 people in. Uh, I got one special <laughs> on right now. It's, it's on for 147, 147. It's called uh, stepping out of your comfort zone. So magnetic entrepreneur stepping out of your comfort zone. So $147 US, you can get into a chapter, a thousand words, and you can start sharing to people about getting out of your comfort zone. So now when I do that, I end up, I do the editing, the formatting, the, the, everything, the cover with it, everything does. I do the marketing. No, nobody gets royalties at the end of that because all the stuff online go to other places that need it more. So feed it forward out of Toronto. Um, Chef Jagger Gordon, he feeds the people that are homeless. And so money goes to help that out or youth or whatever it is. People out here, the homeless people out in, uh, where I'm living in Canada, I help out with these things. I help out with these people that need it more than the people that are actually coming into the book. So I have a lot of famous people. A lot of famous people do forwards for me. Congratulations. So, I mean, yeah, I do. I mean, I've had a lot of famous people do it. I've mm -hmm. been honored. It's been it's been a, a real good journey, that's to say so. But if you want to write your own book and say it's nonfiction, I do a lot of nonfiction books. Uh, people want to learn how to write a book. I could coach them on top of that of writing their books. So I got a girl later on this afternoon that I'm actually coaching, and we're writing a book. Uh, she's writing a book with uh, herself. It's all about herself, but I'm teaching her how to do it. Um, there was another lady this morning I went through. Um, I did another interview this morning and she's willing to move forward the exact same way. But I have another lady who just wants to write her own book and not even have the, the coaching. I said, that's fine. That's okay. fine. I will, I will publish it. But when I publish it, I was publishing these books in Ingram, where it allows you to be in uh, seen by 70,000 um, distribution centers, which are the bookstores. Seven zero, 70,000. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. That actually, that actually go on the market, which is in the go chapters and all the high bookstores and the libraries that can download it and put it in theirs too. So you get what it is, is you get the 
royalties that come in from that and then go from there and then you get sent out, right? So, but they also go in 39,000 different distribution centers through Amazon too at the same time. Amazing, well connected. So if somebody is interested uh, to use your services, so we'll put all the links down and they to approach you. Yeah, we, we can put them all on afterwards. Okay, wonderful. Right? That's not a problem. Wonderful. If you go, listen, if you want, if you Google Ray, Ray the Rock, if you do Magnetic Entrepreneur, you're not gonna miss me. Or Robert J. Moore, you're not gonna miss me. As long as it's on Facebook, LinkedIn, or anywhere. I mean, you'll see the books I've done. If you actually go magnetic-entrepreneur.com, that's my actual website. I'm actually putting the one structure in there. I've done everything in there, though, and I just showed you. The only thing I haven't done yet is the point for the books. I'm doing that still as I do everything else, but I'm also hosting another event at the end of the month where I'm releasing a new song that's actually been written about me. You know? I was keeping this for the very end, but you know, that is wonderful. This is something which I'm really, really um, thrilled and happy for you because it is just added more and more into what you're doing and showing your growth and still keeping the normal person you are the normal human being and you know your ego did not raise up no reaching the no, i look at ego as uh, edging god out no i used to i used to i mean when i first started getting sober it was like look at me look at me look at me and i realized it wasn't very cool um <laughs> because when i was drinking i would do that it was one of the the behaviors i had when i was drinking or when i was drugging it's like oh i did this i did that well when you get other people to talk about you, that's credibility. It's sure. not credibility when you're going around telling everybody about yourself. When, so when I'm going around and doing an interview, that's different. Doing it in a book, that's different. Yeah. Okay. But if I go around and say, look at me, man, I've done this. Oh, I've done that. Well, that's just voicing your own opinion. And everybody's going to think that you're annoying. Right. So, oh, I'm just bragging now. That's all it is. It's just bragging. So if I go and I have one of these people, so like, that's why I have the testimonials on the, on the things I do, True. you know, Bob Proctor, a bunch of them, all of them do, do testimonials about me. Yeah, I had Ben Gay, the third, the top, the top sales guy in the world, top sales guy in the world, right? Say that I'm, I'm a, uh, amazing author. Like, seriously, like, how can you beat that? Congratulations. Right? <laughs> But this, what, you know, how we started, the gifts and the talents, when God made us, he made us with our own uh, unique gifts and talents. And how many people leave this world without actually finishing their missions or knowing about their missions, realizing, discovering their gifts and talents, and it's such a waste. And the creator does not make waste. But this is the, the path we choose, unfortunately. So that's why I, I'm so happy for you. I congratulate you. And you know, other people knowing you and getting to know you and uh, knowing your life, I truly believe that this uh, talk today will be inspirational to many others. This is the idea. And whoever wants to contact with you and to learn more, to be coached by you, uh, they are very, very welcome. And what would you say to people who are in the crossroads and <clears throat> they don't know which direction to take, how to identify the right, uh, how they to make right decision and to identify which is the right path, right way? Well, I'm going to tell you this right now. The best way to look at it, I'm not going to direct everybody to me because I'd love to work with everybody, but at the same time. <laughs> Here's the way it works. I want you to be comfortable working with yourself and finding yourself. So here's how you do it. It's called mind mapping. When you mind map, you, you got a mind map here, mind map here, two blank pieces of paper. Hypothetically, I'm going to use me as an example. I use Tony Robbins. What did I like about him? I used five things that I liked about him. So the how, where, all those different things like that. You put in there. So who does he serve? Who does he serve? How does he serve them? Where does he do it? How does he do it? Like all these different things that he's doing, all the things that he's doing and why he's doing them. Now I go on here. I put down my name in the middle and identify 
five things that relate to something he's doing that I'm actually doing. So yeah, I do events. Yeah, I do. I do uh, mind trapping and everything else. I do, you know, inspirational things, motivational things, something like him. Um, he does psychology stuff. I am into psychology, but I don't do psychology stuff but in the way I do, because if you look at it, I talk about the physiology of the, the face, the body language, the tone. I use that to upbrand other people because I get to know them and their business that way. So I'm actually utilizing the skills in the same way. So look at someone you enjoy and then that, that you admire, my map it, how are you different and build your own self. So do that with four or five different people and then study them and take nuggets of each of them and build yourself. If you want to work with me, I have no problem with that. But I'm going to warn you right now in the next three months, I'm going to be hiring a lot of staff and I'm training them. That's going to be in my position, basically, to work with everybody. And I'm just going to step up the ladder a bit more. Thank you. Thank you. This is amazing. Anything else you would like to share, to say, if we miss? So you say about the track, uh, the soundtrack, which is coming. So it's going to be events in Canada? Well, I'm, I'm not in Canada. It's going to be online. So online, oh, I've got uh, Al Pacino's stepmom, close friend of mine. She's actually <laughs> going to she's actually going to be on it. Um, and and Darman, everybody knows Darman from the the videos that he does on on YouTube and that. One of his actors, one of his actors, Catherine uh, Norton, she's actually going to be coming on uh, speaking with me too. She's actually going to be doing an interview with me tomorrow, like this. So uh, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of my clients. I'm, I'm making it high end. Then I'm putting it on. See, I own Magnetic TV station, Magnetic Entrepreneur TV station. I own Magnetic FM radio. People can get into the podcast if they want. I train people how to do podcasting. I train people. I know like, these are the structures I do. Speaking engagements. I've been on TEDx myself. I've done sp speaking engagements. Two, 2.1 million people I've spoken in front of. Um, I've, I've helped people from literally the ground people have lived on the streets before i've helped them grow some some are only making five figures some making four figures some making six figures whatever it may be right the point is as long as they're happy doing what they're doing and not living the way they were that's what i care about right so i don't do this to 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 look, say look at me kind of crap i do it because i i i think it's overwhelming to see someone understand you and feel feel what you you're teaching them and, and let them utilize those skills to better themselves that is the ultimate dream right there mm -hmm. but as, as it was a thing that i actually said not long ago if you're an artist and you want like i also owned i'm gonna be honest be, i actually owned part of a record label before okay. right people didn't know that so i know a lot of different entertainers and I said to this one girl, how about if you're a musician, I'd like you to see, see you write a song about me. I didn't know she had a one hit wonder before. And she did. And she brought another guy in that likes singing. You want me to play, play part of it? Please, if you could, share yeah, with I us. Can. Okay, this is the beginning of it. Hold on, I got to play it twice. There. With a husband, brother, and a son I call a friend to know one I'm my own since 17 To make my way through shattered dreams Never listening to anyone Spend my youth on the run Fighting instinct to get me by Following drugs to keep me high <laughs> Everyone I love died, betrayed, what a manly mistake. I love the sound. Nice. Arrested <laughs> and locked up, in jail, another fool in a crowded cell. Beautiful. Just because you've fallen doesn't mean you fell. That voice is beautiful. Inside your past and love, love yourself. Now I'm gonna fast forward it where where it gets me out of the, the zone because I don't want everybody hearing the whole thing. There's a reason for it because I'm launching it at the end of the month, right in the fourth. So and I'm actually bringing these guys on to actually be interviewed by me. 
Amazing. Amazing. Oh. I'm so excited and to really share this. <laughs> Took a step, took my 12 step plan. Never looking back, but once was me. I had to be stripped of emotions and guilt so I could become the man you see. Never caring what became of me, never caring what others see. I went from a loser with many needs to a man of a purpose. I'm a man of means. He took a step, made his first grand. Never looking back. They're really good together. He educated himself and taught anyone about business, strength, humanity. Did you? Do you think that do you think that the guy looked like you when you were younger physically? No. No? No, it was rough. <laughs> I'll show you a minute. <laughs> at the top of the page. I love it. Emotional, physical, and mental pain is the price that I pay to get. I made a promise to myself. Great. Oh, that's all I'm going to play for now. <laughs> well, congratulations. Congratulations. I cannot stop congratulating you for everything what had happening in the last few years. I also own a magazine too. I do covers of magazines for my magazine. Uh, yeah, I do, like I said, up branding and, you know, there's not really much I don't do, to be honest with you. It depends. I, I don't do negative stuff. Anything negative I do not do and will not do. But you have actually involved all your contacts because you're very easy to yeah. connect with person. And that's how you turn this. Uh, you involve these guys in the business as well. So it is, um, well, win-win for both sides. That's right. Amazing. Yeah, magnetic entrepreneur. Awesome. Oh, here you go. <laughs> oh, I love Tony Robbins. It's just amazing. <laughs> oh boy oh boy oh. i'm so sorry i knew, I knew we, that would get you we lost him yeah so i mean i do i do numerous amounts of things i mean <laughs> when people get up there i surprise them on the packages uh that i have here's the thing just because i say i'm going to work with you three months and i'm going to charge you x y and z for that amount and give you this much for it doesn't mean we're finished Half the time I say, listen, you know what? I got, I can, I can get you working with this person. I, th I think it's potentially wise for to move forward, but sometimes I don't even charge the person. You know what I mean, sometimes I do an extra month for free and I just guide them to where they need to be. So mm -hmm. I got, I got my buddy, Tim Bird. He, he's done commercials on the Super Bowl. He's done over $500 million in sales. Uh, he's a personal friend of mine, teaches people their message right? To hear their message, to bring people in. And I've had people, literally, I've had people make millions of dollars and say to me, oh, what's he going to tell me? I've been making millions. Well, they got on there and they made, they made a good choice because uh, when they, when they come back, they said, wow, never thought of it that way. You know? So he, he's a good thinker in that. And then uh, I have a, a good, I got a couple of PRs, public relations for those who don't know what that means. And I like I've been seen in magazines all across the world. I've been on radio stations. I've won so many awards. If you look, I got awards all the way down. I got another one right here. You know, I got the Guinness World Record Forbes. I, I don't look at myself as anything better than the person you are today. Don't matter who's watching. And the reason why is because we're all equal. We're all equal. It's just that I'm being seen more and recognized more is because of the fact that I'm actually putting myself out there more. But because of the, she, the decision you made one day yeah. and yeah. because of the efforts you put, you focus on it and you're being disciplined to walk the, the way. Yeah, you got to have a coach, though. You got to have a coach. True. True. I know that on our own, we can do it. We cannot make it. Well, everybody who has succeed and went that far, it's become, because they have the right mentors and the right coaches around them. Yeah. 
True. Let me so put it this way. Anybody watching? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a mind-blowing thing. I always do this. I do mind-blowing things all the time. Whoever's watching, the first two people that come to me, normally people charge anywhere from five to $20,000 per month for coaching. And this is once a week for an hour, blah, blah, boom. If two people come to me today, um, and I'm going to end this on May 15th. May 15th, if those two people don't come forward, well, it's lost. They never happen again. You pay me $1,000 a month, and we'll coach you. Straight out, $1,000 a month, and I'll coach you. Amazing. And for how long? Oh, well, that, if, they wanna keep, if they want to keep going for 12 months, that's fine. Great. I'm telling you, only two people. Two people, that's it. Two There's people. No tax. But it will be in your country. If you're from the UK, it's it's your all. If you're from Canada, it's Canadian. If you're from the US, it's from USA. Don't matter where you're from. Wherever you're from has to be your, your currency. If it's from Bulgaria, it will be 1,000 less. <laughs> there you go. Right? It, it, is, it is 500 uh, euros. Yeah, because it's, it's, different. it's different money all over the world. Right? Yeah. So, but I mean, I'm Canadian. So, I mean, so wherever you're from, it's in your currency. Yeah. That's, okay. That's how I'll Wonderful. deal with it. Yeah. So thank you so much. Let, let's repeat this. So until 15th of May, you have to make up your mind to people only. Robert will coach you for $1,000 or pounds or euros or Bulgarian lives per month as long as, long as it takes. Guys, take yep. it. To people only. <laughs> so we have just a few minutes to finalize your final words. Listen, Please. here's the way I see here's the way I see it. You know, I'm honored to be on here. I touch out to a lot of people. Your name come up, I touched on you, and I say, listen, why aren't you doing this stuff again? And then you let me know your mom died. I said, I can relate to that. My mom died a few years back, and you talked about, you know, you're respecting your father and stuff that's going on with him. And I said, I respect that too, because I've lost my father four years ago. And then, you know, like I kind of, what I did was I put you back in the frame. True. You True. know what I mean? Because you were focusing on things that weren't allowing you to grow. They were mm -hmm. just allowing you to sit and be comfortable in your own stuff. And that's what I do with other people. So the proof is even, even in the things that if you watch, um, Les Brown's daughter, Serena Brown Travis, if you watch some of the things she talks about, and it gives me credit. She talks about she was in a bad zone at the time mm -hmm. when I first met up with her. And it just so happens that I allowed her to come to Canada. I helped her come to Canada and put her on stage on my stage. And she says she's never done a keynote speech before in her life. I taught her how to get up there and get going and make it happen. And I said, don't worry about your dad's rules. Break them. Mm -hmm. You're not here with your dad. You're here with you. I want you to be you, not your dad. So she was so grateful for that. And I'm just, you know, I'm gentle with the people, but I'm straightforward. If I feel you need to hear something, you're going to hear it. Yeah. If I feel if I feel that your business is being run the wrong way, I'm going to let you know, because I'll tell you right now, one thing I do know is business. I appreciate this. Thank you so much, Robert. We love you. I really do hope that many people will see um, our live today, our talk. I really appreciate this. I really appreciate that you, you really you know, took the lid off <laughs> and let my spirit you know, <laughs> get out from the, the box, the, the pot. I need it. I need it. I was a bit of, you know, trying to get uh, my head off uh, above the water. <laughs> and actually, you are this one who really pushed me. So I appreciate very much. And that is going to, now I'm going to do this every Monday with God blessings. <laughs> every Monday, 6.30 or 7 o'clock, because I started this journey, one month journey, and I pay for it. So I really want to make things happening. And um, well, I've sent you, I sent you another person. Yes, uh, all right. I'm gonna Monday. send you, I'm gonna send you two more people. Thank you. Next Monday, Joseph is going to be online. Yeah. So uh, we're going to make it happen and working together, helping each other and helping reaching out to you guys, whoever, whatever has to take from each conversation take it it's yours and it's free god bless you all god bless you robert and your family let's have one wonderful breakthrough may 
I love May. I'm born in May. You're born in May. <laughs> we'll celebrate together. Yeah, well, I'm getting a great big juicy steak like this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yes, take care. And you too. I'm going to end this.